getting word in the Cairo 7 newsroom of a shooting possibly at Marysville Pilchuck High School in the north part of Marysville. Potentially 2,500 students at this school, right. a very, very large high school. We are talking with Robert. He is a junior there at Marysville Pilchuck. Um, sounds really stunned right now. Robert, how are you and your friends even holding up at this point? It must just be surreal to you. Well, it, it's really crazy to think that this situation happened today at my school because I would have never pictured this happening. And I am just really surprised right now, but just to know that the guy who is shooting people is um, is off campus right now. Is good. I'm sorry. You said the the student who's responsible is what? Um, to know that the um, guy that was responsible for the shooting is off campus is a relief. Is uh, oh, so he he. Oh, that you are relieved to hear that you believe that he has been detained in uh, some way. Yeah. Okay. Robert, we can certainly hear in your voice just in the last couple of minutes as we've been talking to you, it seems like the, the shock and the gravity of this situation is kind of settling in a little bit. How many, how many students are in there with you and how many staff in the room that you're in? Um, there was one parent, one teacher, and around 40 kids. About 40 kids, okay. And this wasn't your lunchtime, or it was your lunchtime, you just happened to not oh. be in the cafeteria and you dove into a class? Or what did, what did you do when you first heard, oh my gosh, shots were fired? What did you physically do? Um, it was my lunchtime, but um, me, because like the food is disgusting, me and my friends decided to walk around instead of um, going to lunch and eating because since it's just a half day, it wasn't going to be that long anyways. So um, we were walking around and I, didn't, I first thought it was a fire until everyone was rushing into um, classrooms, locking the doors. And then when um, me and my friends got in the classroom and we were asking people what happened is when I figured out what happened. Wow. Well, at least it sounds like there was good reaction there on the part of staff and students in, in getting you into lockdown quickly. Uh, Robert, I just want to remind people who are just joining us right now because they have seen basically what's been happening maybe on social media and Twitter and so forth, that at about 1045 this morning, Someone opened fire at Marysville Pilchuck High School. Uh, there's been a lot of confusion since then, but we have gotten confirmed that there are three victims with gunshot wounds, at least one to the head. Um, what Robert is telling us right now is that he has heard that one of the people shot may be the gunman himself. We are still waiting to get that confirmed right now. We also know that they are being taken to local hospitals. At this point, no one is being taken on to Harborview Medical Center, which is uh, the trauma center here in Seattle. Those three, uh, though, are still at, at local hospitals at this point. And Robert, thank you so much for joining us. We want to talk now to Dwayne Cadell. He is a junior at Marysville Pilchuck High School. Dwayne, how are you doing and what can you tell us about this? Miss, I am so scared. I, I can't believe out of how many high schools there are in this world that this happened at our high school. Um, but I had I had just gone into the lunchroom. I grabbed my lunch, and as I was walking out, I was no more than about 15 feet away when I heard I heard four I heard four like that 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 you know. And I was thinking like someone was like kicking the door or something. And then after like a little couple seconds after, I heard that that, and I seen everybody running out like go go it's the gun it's the gun. And so I just I started running. I mean, I, I've never had nothing like this ever happen before in my life. And it was just very, very, very nerve wracking. Oh, my gosh, Dwayne. I am so sorry you are going through this. And as you said, right here in our neck of the woods, we see these stories from across the nation and that it's happening right here at Marysville Pilchuck High School. Now, without naming names at all, did you see the gunman and do you know that person and what can you tell us about him? Um, well, I, I, I didn't like, I didn't quite see the gunman, but I, I seen like, like, you know, like when guns shoot and like the sparks you could see, I, I, I seen that and I, I didn't get a description because I took off running. It was, it was very scary. I didn't know what to do, but run. 
Well, we're glad you did run, Dwayne. Um, can you tell us before the shots or, or during, after anything, did you hear anybody say anything that indicated what was going on? I did not hear anything like that. And I just, I can't imagine what would drive someone to do this. Right. Well, that's a question that I don't know we'll ever get a full answer for. But, Dwayne, you are now in lockdown, is that correct, or are you outside of the school? No, I, I am definitely inside a classroom. I am on lockdown. Okay. We have our lights off and everybody is sitting down. Okay. How are people doing? How are those other students? How is your teacher doing? And, and tell us about any lockdown drills you may have gone through recently. Robert, who is also a junior, told us he doesn't really recall any recent active shooter drills there at Marysville Pilchuck. What can you tell us about that? Um, I believe we had one a little bit earlier in the year where, um, where we had to turn off the lights and get down for maybe about 10 minutes. It wasn't nothing too major. And um, our, our teacher, he, he's pretty calm. He, he's well, he's cool, collected. He's got everything under control. And, and I'm pretty, uh, all these other kids in here, they're, they're very shaken up. They, they just can't believe what is happening. Have you talked to your parents? I have talked to my dad, and he is on his way. What did you tell him? What did, how I, did he react to you? I cannot imagine. Oh, my God. Smith, he was so scared. He was like, oh, my God. And he, he worked for a multi-billion dollar company. He was like, I got to leave work right now. I got to go make sure my kids are okay. He, he was pretty scared. Dwayne, I'm sure that that is the worst call he could possibly get. But as you mentioned, uh, reaching out to your father, we do want to remind any parents who are watching right now, this is, it, it's hard to follow. But just so you know, police are really encouraging parents not to turn up at the school because there is so much going on right now. They need that extra breathing space to be able to deal with the situation. And also, we assume, Dwayne, what will happen with you as what we have seen happen with other students to this point, as the students are brought out safely, they will be loaded into buses and then taken to a safe place where they can be reunited with their parents away from the school. So you folks who are watching this right now and you have loved ones who hopefully are getting onto a bus like we're seeing right there from Chopper 7. Please do not get, do not go directly to the school because your children will be taken away from there and the authorities really do need that extra room. And then, Dwayne, as Monique was just kind of alluding to there, do you know of a reunification area, a family meeting area in a situation like that that's ever been told to you or did your, your dad say anything or did he say, I'm on the way to the school? My, my dad said that he was on his way to school. I, I don't think, I've never heard anything. I, I just came down here from California, so I don't know if there is a place where we re reunite. I don't know any of that. Okay. And the other students who are in the room with you right now, Dwayne, are they just talking to your fr their families? What are you hearing from them, and how are you trying to help each other get through this? Well, we're, we're all just there. They're telling their parents. Their parents are really worried about them. They, they... Just, no one can believe it's happening right now. Everybody's shocked. And, Dwayne, we know you can't see because you are indoors right now talking to us on the phone, but Chopper 7 is live above your school right now, and they continue to show these shots of officers who are sweeping through the school. We just had an expert on a little bit ago, a couple of minutes ago, right before you, who was telling us how officers get through a school like this to make sure that it is under control. And our understanding is that they are going class by class to check on all of the students make sure that whoever's responsible um, has been located and dealt with as we see some students who are now running through the parking lot with their arms up happy to be safe and getting away from that school um, we're sure Dwayne at, at one point you will be able to leave as well like these kids whom we're seeing running across this grass and Michelle I just I can't imagine the terror that they've no, experienced. Not at all. And that looked like possibly someone from the staff, cafeteria, yes. a staff member running away. Uh, possibly now we are seeing maybe students, not sure if siblings or parents running to find their kids. We're not really sure what's going on right here in the parking lot. Maybe they've been told they can get to their car and get out of there if these are students who have a parking space there and drive to school trying to get to the bottom of what's going on here. But so much relief, and now it looked like they just had the girl in the purple there. Right. You know, they do. They have, they have their arms up 
running through the parking lot here, so not really sure where they are heading right now. Just get, trying to get away <laughs> from that scene safely. And for those of you who are joining us right now, uh, Chopper 7 is live over Marysville Pilchuck High School, where at about 1045 this morning, someone opened fire at that school that is inducing this panic that you are seeing as these kids run from the school right now. We know at least three were hurt, uh, three taken to local hospitals with gunshot wounds, including one to the head. We do not know if that includes a gunman or not. Uh, what we have heard from students inside the school and also from their parents who have been calling us uh, since 1045 this morning is that there was a student who opened fire at the cafeteria in the cafeteria. We just saw Michelle, as you pointed out, somebody who looked like perhaps a cafeteria worker with an apron over her. Or she was running from the building. Uh, we will continue to get just these heart stopping uh, recounts of what has happened this morning that you hear about happening all too often and it still it doesn't fail to shock you though this is just it really doesn't you are seeing now guns drawn with the not sure if these are Snohomish County deputies or Marysville police part of the Snohomish County uh, SWAT team members here, uh, they are checking everything just check that porta potty there they are going room by room, closet by closet, building by building, because as our expert just told us, a former SWAT team member and a former Pierce County Sheriff Sergeant who does active shooter drills right now currently, he said they don't know officials when they arrive onto the scene of something like this, reports of shots fired, a school shooting, they don't know if they are dealing with one shooter, two shooters they don't know so that is what you are seeing right now live from chopper seven near the field there and the track of marysville pilchuck high school they are checking everywhere but as you see right there guns drawn the guns are no longer down they are drawn so i don't know if they have gotten some information some tactical information from someone but they are now uh looks look to be with guns drawn there sweeping the stadium of marysville pilchuck high school and we've been seeing some of the students and staff streaming out but we've also been hearing from students who are still inside that school right now trying to get more information and trying to get the word out about what they have seen and heard including rigo Perez, who is joining us on the phone right now. Rigo, we are happy that it sounds like you are safe right now. Uh, what year are you there at Marysville Pilchuck? Sorry, what was the question again? Uh, what Are you a junior or senior? What are I'm you? a senior right now. A I'm senior. Uh, Rigo, tell us where you are and what you have seen so far today. Um, we're at, we just got evacuated with, by the police you to did which, get uh, evacuated. church nearby MP. Wonderful. So and you what I, go ahead. And what I saw. Uh, did you see a gunman, Rigo? I did not see the gunman. So Rigo, when you were locked down, uh, what classroom was that you were in? And then when did you get and who came in to tell you you're good to go and you guys got out of there and got to, I believe you said, a church nearby? Yeah. Who came um, in and told you that and, and got you guys out of there? We were in, uh, I was in the student store, and the student store was right next to the cafeteria. So we were just working, you know, doing our business, selling things. And then just out of nowhere, we didn't even think about it. Just out of nowhere, we heard a shooting. And then we, we didn't think it was nothing. We just thought it was just like somebody, like, throwing down something. But then, like, we saw everybody just start running out of nowhere. And then we just, we knew automatically that it was someone was shooting a gun. And, and we what didn't did know you if do? Was not sure if he was just like fooling around with it. Mm -hmm. We didn't know, but right when we heard that, we ran. We ran right into the back office of Miss Miller's room. Mr. Hill helped us with getting all safe. And then, how did police eventually come through that office and and tell you that it was okay to leave? Yes, yes, they did. They came knocking in, saying that yeah, they were the police, and it was okay to come outside. And Rigo, what are what are you feeling right now, and, and and what are you seeing from the other students? Is it more like just get out of here and and cannot believe in in like a state of disbelief here? It's exactly what it is because you never expect it to be your school where there's a random shooting. Yeah, and then 
We're sorry it, that it, it is, It makes Rita. you think about it. That well, these kids, they were just thinking about just going home, you know, going to school, just doing their work, and then going home and just being another normal day, and then just out of nowhere, they're shooting. Right. And, Rigo, you told us you were a senior there. So have you been there at yeah. Marysville all four years? Uh, this is my third year. I went to Marysville Guest for my first year. Okay, so do you guys have, we've asked, asked a couple other students who've been on the phone, can you recall the last time you had an active shooter drill there? Uh, is it talked about a lot when these unfortunately happen at other schools across, across the nation? Is it talked about? Do you and your friends know, hey, if this happens, here's what we're doing? Or, or kind of what happened? Kind of walk me through that, what was going through your mind? Well, from all the years that I've been here in, like, the Marysville School District, from, like, high school, I've never actually, like, witnessed the shooting before. I've never, like, thought it would ever happen. Like, yeah, we had practice drills, like, you know, lockdown drills, like, practice drills, but we never actually had, like, something like this happen. Now, Rigo, you were just saying that, that you were brought by bus to a church, and we have been hearing from police. They have been asking parents like yours to stay away from the school. We're just hearing now that it looks like the church that you are at right now is the, uh, the reunion center, if you will, on 116th Street Northeast and 51st Avenue Northeast. It, does that, is that where you are right now at that church? Yes, I believe so. That is where uh, police are asking parents to go instead of the high school. Again, that's 116th Street Northeast and 51st Avenue Northeast, where, Rigo, we are very happy that you have gotten there and that you're okay. okay. You were mentioning that you are a senior. You're one of the older yeah. kids there on the campus. How have you been trying to help out some of the younger kids kind of stay calm and, and get their wits about them? Rigo, what's happening there right now? Uh, we're trying to get in order with the, uh, and we're in a group right now. And we have chapter seven have over that church. Okay, we want to let you go. Stay safe, and thank you for calling in here to Cairo Seven. We heard some.